I'm about to say something very controversial. Don't go to church. If you want to know what I mean by that, stick around to the end of the video. Hey guys, this is Jeff from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. Now, I want to start by saying, I believe that I've been doing these videos all wrong. You know what? Come with me. Let's go for a walk. The reason I say that I've been doing my vlogs, the reason I say I've been doing this channel, this Christian teaching, encouragement, motivation, whatever you call it, all wrong, is because I tell you guys to go out and live boldly for Jesus, yet I'm perfectly content sitting in my office and preaching a message. I don't think I'm doing it right. I think that if I'm going to do this thing correctly, if I'm going to truly inspire others to live a bold life for Jesus, then I've got to go out and I've got to do it myself. You see, the problem I have is the same problem that a lot of Christians have. And it's simply this. It's easy to be faithful when there is no opposition, right? It's easy to live out your faith, to boldly proclaim that you are a Christian when you're surrounded by other Christians. Our faith is tested when we face opposition. But so often, we never face that opposition, you see, because we are perfectly content living out our faith in faith circles. But you see, to truly live boldly for Jesus, to make disciples of all nations, we are not called to simply live boldly within our circles. We are called to live boldly in a world that wants to persecute us. We do this by publicly showing our faith. And no, I don't mean knocking on doors and sharing a three-step salvation call. We do it by being open, honest, and transparent. That we say, yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I love Jesus. No, I'm not perfect. The problem is, so often when we say that we are Christian or that we are Jesus followers, people look down on us because they think that we're judgmental, or they think that we think we are perfect. And so often that's why we don't share our faith, because we don't want to be associated with that kind of mentality. But you see, the problem is that we as Christians then never make the first move because we're afraid we're going to be associated with someone else. So the only people making the first move are the ones making the wrong first moves. But you see, we have to get up and move first. But you see, we have to make that move with love, with transparency, with openness and honestness and say once again that yes, we love Jesus. No, we're not perfect. No, we don't judge nor condemn you. That's what we have to do. That's how we become the church. And that's exactly what I've always meant by live a bold life. I didn't mean to bash people over the head with the Bible or make them feel inferior to you because of your faith. I simply meant that you love each other, that you show the gospel and the grace of Christ through your actions, not always your words. But then when people see you, they can understand who you follow because of the way you act, that you're not condemning, but you're loving and you're graceful. That's what it is to live boldly it's not to be arrogant, it's not to be judgmental, it's not to make other people feel inferior, it is simply to love those around you and when the opportunity shows itself, it's to show them Jesus. Whether that is through actions, words, or simply kindness, we show them Jesus through that. In the beginning of this video, I said, I've not been doing my videos right. And I wasn't sure about that. But just a moment ago, it got proven to me. You see, as I was finishing my video, I went ahead and walked through the line at our Walmart and I got a Seattle's Best Coffee. Whenever I went through the line, I had my camera in my hand and the girls there simply asked me, what is that fuzzy thing on your camera? The fuzzy thing? This is my windscreen for my mic, uh, which is a legit question. But that gave me the opportunity to tell them about this channel, about this video that I'm making and hopefully to get them over to my channel. I wasn't arrogant. I wasn't super Christian. I just got to tell them that I have a Christian teaching channel on YouTube called That Bold Life. You guys should totally go check it out. And I hope they do. Guys, if you are watching this right now, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know you are the girls at the coffee shop. That would be so awesome. But that just gave me that opportunity to not preach the gospel, per se, to not shove the Bible down someone's throat, but instead to just spark conversation about Jesus. That's what's up, guys. I am pumped. It's only like 7 o'clock in the morning, too. That's what's up. So, do you remember what I said in the very beginning? When I said, 
don't go to church. You guys obviously know that's not what I meant. Because I'm very adamant that we should all join a body of believers, but when I say don't go to church, I mean it. I mean don't go to church. Be the church. That's the difference. Because so often we're just happy to go to church, to go to a building, to go to a gathering, to go to an event, and then let it be over. We were never called to go to church, we were called to be the church. We were called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We were not called to gather together in a social circle and, and to talk and to, no, we were called to actually be the hands and feet, the very actions of Jesus on this earth. That is our calling. That is what we're supposed to do. That's what it means to be the church. And that's what I mean to live boldly for Jesus. Again, it's not to shove the gospel down someone's throat. It's to be the hands and feet of Jesus in this world. I heard a speaker say this weekend that the Great Commission is to, to go and make disciples in all the world. But she said, I want to take it one step further and say, go and make disciples in your world because you are the only person that can reach your world like you can reach your world. That there are people around you that only you can reach. And again, you don't do it by knocking on their doors and asking them if they know where they're going to go when they die. You do it by being the hands and feet of Jesus. That you approach people, you love people, you show them grace and mercy in the midst of their troubles and in their trials. You are not judgmental, but you are loving and you are always present and you are always there. And you let them know the love of Jesus. And you simply be the hands and feet. You do each and everything you can. That's what it is to live boldly, is that you make a difference in this world. That you become the church. You don't no, you no longer attend church. You go and get encouraged so that you can go out and be the church. That's what I mean. That's living boldly for Jesus. And that's why I think I've been doing these videos wrong. Now, I don't know if every video is going to be me running a town and talking to other people about Jesus. I hope so. But I know that's not always practical, but I do want to encourage you to not simply watch this video and close your phone and go on about your day. I want to encourage you to go out and live a bold life for Jesus, to be the hands and feet of Christ, to actually be the church. It's not enough for Christians to go to church. We've got to become the church or else the church will become irrelevant. That's tweetable right there. We've got to be the church. We cannot simply attend the church. We've got to be the church or else the church will be irrelevant. Because when we stop making a difference, we stop accomplishing Jesus' purpose. And when we no longer accomplish the purpose of Christ, then what is our purpose at all? I just want to leave you guys with that. This is not meant to be bashing by any means. I want to build you up and encourage you that when you get out and when you live boldly, not necessarily when you tell others about Jesus every chance you get, but when you just simply go out and show love to the world, they'll ask. They'll be intrigued. And then you'll have your opportunity and they'll be more willing to listen because they've already seen that you care. So go out today. Live a bold life, a loving life a grace-filled life and live it boldly for Jesus. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this format where I kind of did it vlog style. Go ahead and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. I release videos like this every single week. Love you guys. Keep living that bold life.